Welcome back to The Critical Gentleman. Today we are reviewing the Pelican 1170 Hard Case. When I first started collecting watches, I obviously needed somewhere to put them, so my first instinct was to buy a dedicated watch box. And you can see right here that I went to Amazon and got pretty much the cheapest thing they had. Uh, but I quickly discovered that that was a mistake. You know, there's a saying that says, buy once, cry once, and that turns out to be totally true. For starters, it doesn't really provide any cushioning for the watches. This material is really not padded. It's very hard. Um, so the watches kind of uh, slosh around in there and bang into the sides, and it really doesn't offer any shock protection, especially um, since this is supposed to be a travel case. It, it really does not bring me peace of mind in terms of the safety of my watches. Um, second of all, uh, the only thing holding the watch in place is this little piece of elastic. I mean, this is um, really not that formidable of a, of a retention method. It's just um, one little strip of elastic that holds the watch by the band or the bracelet um, and allows the watch head to flop around inside. And like I said, it's really not very padded, so um, I didn't find that it was necessarily a safe way to transport watches or that elegant of a way to store them um, in the first place. I think I paid about 10 or 12 dollars for this, which is not a lot of money, but considered for really not that much more, you can have a much more robust and secure method of storing your watches. Around the same time I bought the Pelican case, I got this watch display box as a gift, which I think is a really attractive way to display watches and to store them. However, the one thing that I don't use it for is transportation. It's great if you keep your watches on your desk or your dresser. But it generally offers little security or any waterproofing or protection for your watches. And that's why I picked up this Pelican case as a more long-term storage solution. Now if you're not familiar with Pelican cases, they're very rugged storage cases that are designed to withstand drops, shocks, falls, water, and all sorts of other things that can damage sensitive items. I see them most commonly used for transportation of photography equipment and firearms, however there is really no end to the list of things that you could put in a box. One of the advantages I find to this case, number one, is the fact that it is relatively airtight. Now you'll notice this little valve looking thing on the front here. That is a pressure equalization valve. It's so that if you were to take this case on a flight, for example, or to check it, it's possible that the air pressure outside of the case will be greater than inside of the case, which in an airtight container means you won't be able to open it. What this does is equalize the air pressure inside and outside of the case so that you can release the latches and open the lid. Number two, of course, is how rugged this is. I mean, it is very durable. Um, I certainly wouldn't suggest dropping it with expensive watches inside, but the case itself will protect against shocks, drops, um, as you can pile it on top of something or put other things on top of it, and you're not going to risk crushing this case or otherwise damaging your watches from the outside. If we open it up, you'll see right away that I've got the watches um, aligned horizontally, crown side up. That's simply to save space. One of the other complaints I have about a lot of watch boxes out there is that they really just are space wasters. If I took my watches and oriented them dial up, you could see that the amount of padding that it would take away would only leave me room for maybe four or five watches, and I've got significantly more than that um, in this box. I also find that putting them in sort of this slot configuration holds them very securely. This foam padding is meant to cushion um, sensitive electronics and delicate items, uh, and it does a great job in protecting the watches, again, from shocks. Whether you drop or bump this case, they're not going to suffer as a result. You'll also notice in the uh, left corner over here, I've got two little um, rectangular things here. The first one uh, is a humidity and temperature gauge. Now, I don't mean to be overly obsessive, but really what interests me is the fact that this case is airtight enough to the point that the interior humidity will not always be the same as the exterior humidity, and that's why I have this desiccant pack in here. This is something that's frequently used in safes or sometimes in athletic equipment bags to reduce moisture in an environment, and I think I got this desiccant pack on Amazon for like $8. Uh, it's rechargeable, so when these little pellets turn green, right now they're orange, um, that means that it has absorbed its maximum amount of moisture, and then you have to gently heat it 
to get that moisture to evaporate outside of the container so that you can reuse it. Um, generally what I do is microwave it in 15 to 20 second bursts. It's a little bit of a, of a delicate um, project because if you heat it too much it will melt but if you don't heat it enough you're not going to extract any of that moisture. They say you can also put it in an oven. Um, I haven't been brave enough to try that yet. I kind of just sit there and hit 15 on the microwave over and over again until I see it start to steam and then I hit stop so that it doesn't begin to melt. Um, if you're wondering how successful this is, uh, I have had this case for about a year and a half. I've recharged the desiccant pack about two, maybe three times in that time. And after a fresh recharge, it will keep the interior humidity of this case down around 15%. Uh, and that's in an environment where maybe the average humidity in my house would be closer to 20 or 30, depending on the weather, of course, um, and the time of year. In the winter time, this will get down to even 12 inside when the interior humidity is much lower. Overall, it gives me really good peace of mind that my watch collection is going to remain safe. Uh, it's also a little inconspicuous. You know, if someone knows what a Pelican case is and that it tends to hold expensive equipment, sure, someone might try to lift it. But the thing is, you can't see the watches from the outside. Now, that may be a downside if you purposely want to display your watches, but then I would say, you know, get another display box like this one and go ahead, put your watches in it and leave them on your nightstand and look at them every morning, noon, and night. But if you want to bring your watches somewhere to a meetup to travel, um, I think this, this case is a really great option. Um, again, you can use this for anything. The foam is little tiny uh, cubes. You know, they're cut so that you can shape this yourself. I remember Pelican cases have been around a long time and they used to just ship with a big rectangular piece of foam and you kind of had to hack at it with a box cutter or get like a heated knife or something like that. Uh, it was really a production and it ended up looking rather messy a lot of the time. So what they did is they've pre-perforated these um, foam pads so that you can shape it to whatever item you want to put in here. I pulled out a square for the desiccant pack. I pull out these little strips for individual watches. If you wanted to put a camera in here, you could configure it that way or, or whatever else that you might want to store safely. Um, this particular case I think is one of their smaller ones. They have um, really tiny cases that you can use for maybe like a single iPod or something like that. But um, this is a little bit bigger. The Outside dimensions are about 11 and a half wide by eight across and four inches deep. That's rough. Um, what's more important, I think, are the interior dimensions, which kind of give you an idea of how much you can store, which is 10 and a half inches um, width, six inches front to back, and just a hair over three inches deep. Um, and that depth is split between the lid and the bottom of the container uh, about two to one. So you have two inches of depth in the lower portion and one inch of depth in the top. Um, the top and bottom have their own padded inserts so that you're never going to have an item exposed to just the plastic shell of the hard case. Uh, and I find that it's it's a really a really good way to, to secure valuables. Um, Anyway, this is how I store my watches. Let me know what you guys do with yours. Do you keep them in a display box all the time? Do you keep them in a watch roll? Do you use one of these sort of cheapy Amazon boxes? Or do you have one of those real nice Primo leather things that cost uh, almost as much as a watch itself? Let me know. Uh, I'd be interested to find out. So send me a comment. Um, send me a picture. Um, and uh, stick around for Top 5 Friday coming up. Thanks for watching The Critical Gentleman.